to greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Uh, it's such a great privilege to be gathered once again in the presence of God, to be able to worship him and praise him, even as we draw close to the end of this year. We want to give this time and opportunity to the Lord uh, to be able uh, to get closer to him and to be able to look to what he has for us in these few days of meetings that we have. Let's stand to our feet tonight. We're going to sing a song to the Lord. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. I will dance, I will sing, and rejoice in you, and bring praise to your glorious name. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. I will praise the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of sing and rejoice in you and praise to your glorious name Hosanna 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 to the King of Kings Hosanna 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 to And rejoice in you and bring praise to your glorious name. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to Praise the Lord. We just want to invite His presence in our midst tonight. Uh, realize this is December. There's a lot of things that are going out on the outside. Uh, we want to just be able to invoke God's presence. Uh, I'm going to ask my brother Prega, and if you have a need tonight, you just lift up your hands to the Lord, uh, and I believe our Lord will bless us. Amen. Yes, precious God. Yes, precious Lord. Yes, my Father. Yes, Jesus. Yes, dear God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, dear God. Yes, Lord. Yes, precious God. Yes, Father. You've been so good to us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, my Father. Yes, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. That's true. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord. I thank you, Father. This year, Lord, has been a year where, Father, many have complained, Lord. Yes. yes. The economy, Lord. And now, Father, the causes that, Lord, the reason for that, Lord. Yes, yes but, God. Lord, we look spiritually, Father. Thank this you, has Lord. been a historic year, Lord. Yes. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Yes, my God. Yes, yes Jesus. Yes. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Yes, my God. Yes, Lord. 
in the month of December, Lord. Yes. There are many things that go wrong, Lord. Yes. Especially the accidents on the roads, Lord. Yes, and I Lord. pray, Lord, for every child, Lord. For every yes. saint, Father. Yes. Before they enter into the car, Lord. Yes. Lord, look to you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Lord, Lord, just say a prayer, Father. Yes. For protection, my Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Be with us. Guide us. Strengthen us, Lord. I pray, Lord, for your leader. I yes. pray for your leader. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, Father. Yes. Lord. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Once again, I thank you, Father, for another year that you've seen. Yes, Jesus. When you could have not been here this year. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. While we stand, let's sing that song. I'll enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Amen. I will enter and his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad, he has made me glad, I will rejoice for he has made me glad, he has made me glad, he has made me glad, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, we bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And we offer Of thanksgiving, and we offer unto Him the sacrifice of praise. Amen. You may be seated this evening. We want to thank the Lord for the opportunity that He has granted us. We just want you to let your guards down. Through these meetings, uh, you'll be given an opportunity to testify or to sing. Uh, we may not be able to get everyone, so if there's anyone that's got a staring testimony upon their heart, uh, uh, this is the first day you have an opportunity to, to give the testimony. I'm going to ask my brother Dion if he can sing us a song. And uh, if there's someone that's got a testimony in the heart, you can also get ready to come forward. in the name of Jesus.
Balaam was a prophet about the time that Moses was coming through. And every now and again God would speak to him to tell him what to say and do. He had a reputation in all those parts for being on the line to power. But when Moab's king heard Moses was coming, called him in his needy hour. He said, Balaam, come and curse these Israelites. But if you do, I believe I could beat them in a fight. But when Balaam asked the Lord, the Lord said, Balaam, don't you go. Israel is blessed by me, don't you go mess up my show. But Balaam's head was turned by the money he could earn. So he saddled up his donkey anyway. And Balaam and his servants hurried off for the king of Moab's castle. But they hadn't gone very far down the road when the whole ship became a hassle. Because the donkey ran off across the field and she nearly broke Balaam's ankle. And when she lay right down and wouldn't get up, Balaam got a little more than rankled. For the third time Balaam beat her with his cane. But that donkey just refused to move again. It was a thing that happened next though that made Balaam's knees get weak. Where that donkey still would not get up but she began to speak. She said, Balaam you're to blame, the way you beat me is a shame. When all I've done is try to save your life. Then the angel of the Lord appeared with a flaming sword in his hand. And Balaam fell down on his face, a very frightened man. The angel said, Balaam, you'd be dead if your donkey hadn't detected that I was waiting there to pardon your head when you and my sword connected. So Balaam then repented for his sins and he promised not to act like that again. And I hope he's learned his lesson about God's reward for greed. Don't you know it's that talking donkey? Well, that's really strange indeed. But that donkey's just a donkey, but she's still the thing God used. And that's the point I want you all to see. The Lord's the one who makes the choice of the instrument he's using. We don't know the reasons and the plan behind his choosing. So when the Lord starts using you, don't you pay it any mind. He could have used the dog next door if he'd been so inclined. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord for that song. You know, uh, reminds me so much of Numbers 24. The world, uh, no doubt, uh, is wanting to surround Israel. One of these days, my brothers and sisters, they're going to see another picture transpire. My sister Rebecca, you know, we, she's been out of uh, the area for some time, and uh, she's got a job in uh, one of the embassies, I think. I wonder if she can come and say a few words. I know I caught you off guard. Just thank the Lord and... all in the name of Jesus. Um, you know, I, for a long time I had been looking for a job and it's, it's not easy, as you all know, to, get, to find a good job. Um, and I've been home and in Joburg and Pretoria for back and forth for a few years, but never really found a stable enough job. And I just want to thank God that I managed to find this job, a job that I enjoy. Um, that I'm happy uh, in and I'm in a safe place in Pretoria as well so um, I just want to give God all the glory for that and we praise the Lord you know it's not easy uh, especially when you are a young girl in this world uh, looking for a job and you go everywhere and then finally God knows the job that he has for you one of my sister Elisha has got a song to sing Greetings, brothers and sisters, in Jesus' name. 
I would like to thank the Lord for what he has done for me for this year. I want to thank God um, for his strength, for his mercy. I thank God for good health. Uh, I want to thank God even for a job. I thank God uh, uh, for peace. I want to also thank the Lord for this truth that we stand in. I thank God for the word of God that's uh, being preached every Wednesday, Saturdays, and Sundays. It's a blessing to us. I thank God for the understanding of his word, for my family, my spiritual family that's such a, I thank God for y'all. And um, this past August, uh, on the 18th, was exactly 15 years that I'm in remission. I, <clears throat> I want to thank God for that, that God has blessed me with good health. Had it not been for the Lord, I would never be able to stand here. I'd like to sing the song for his glory. Hide me now Under your wings Cover me Within your mighty when the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storms. Father, you are king over the floods. I will be still, know you. God and I will be still know you are God Arihi kya tenen maganam ini chigiram dayani den Arihi kya Chikya tenen mag polo me ini ke kio ne studi ya chikya tenen mag polo me ini ke kio ne studi. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storms. Father, you are king over the floods. I will be still, know you are God. I will be still, know you are God. When not even in northern air, man nil taru vall avare. When not Make you in 
Praise the name of the Lord this evening, brothers and sisters. Has got caught unawares this evening. <laughs> Wasn't really ready for us all. Uh, do have a new song, but uh, haven't actually rehearsed it. songs, you know. நினைவெல்லாம் பேச்செல்லாம் மேசரே 
உன்னை பெற்றி தானீரையா உன்னது தேவனே எங்கே சுராஜனை உம்மோடு நினைந்திட என் உள்ளம் எங்குதையா பேரின்பு கழிலே போய்வின்றி மூர்களும் பேரின்பு கடலிலே போய்வின்றி மூர்களும் துடித்து மகிழனும் ஓயோனவாழனும் நான் துடித்து மகிழனும் ஓயோனவாழனும் இறைவெள்ளம் பகல் எல்லாம் இதையும் உமக்காக துடிக்குதையா நினைவெள்ளம் பேச்செல்லாம் நேசரே உன்னை பெற்றித்தான் ஈரையா உன்னது தேவனே எங்கே சுராஜனை உம்மோடு நினைந்திட என் உள்ளம் எங்குதையா கொடையாக படரணும் உந்தன் நேசமே கொடையாக படரணும் உந்தன் நேசமே மடிமீடு தவறலும் அரளை குழந்தை நான் உன் மடிமீடு தவறலும் அரளை குழந்தை நான் இறை வெள்ளம் பகழில்லம் இதையும் உமக்காக துடிக்குதையா நினைவெள்ளம் பேச்செல்லாம் நேசரே உண்மை பெற்றித்தான் ஈரையா உன்னது தேவனே எங்கே சுராஜனை உம்மோடு நினைந்திட என் உள்ளம் எங்குதையா உன்னது தேவனே எங்கே சுராஜனை உம்மோடு நினைந்திட என் உள்ளம் எங்குதையா என் உள்ளம் Lord for this wonderful songs we're going to stand to our feet this evening we're going to sing that song sweet sweet anointing we have brother Jay Skiston here tonight he's going to be ministering the word so let's sing that song sweet sweet anointing sweet sweet anointing
As we remain standing, my brothers and sisters, let's pray, my brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, this day we come to you, my God, knowing, Lord, that we have the confidence and the assurance that you have promised, Lord, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Lord. Father God, upon your written word, we stand, my God. We have a guarantee in our hearts, my God, that your word will lead us and direct us and prepare us for this day, my God. Many are on the bed of affliction, my Father. I pray that you will meet the needs, my God. Father God, it is your word that brings us blessings, my God. Your word is full of promises, my God. And Lord, if we cannot get to the bank of heaven, Lord, and cash our promises, Lord, we're going to lose it all, my Father. And we thank you for your word. We ask it in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Now, Lord, I pray and submit myself to you. Thou knows, Lord, without you, I can do nothing. But, Lord, you will see to all things that your name may be honored and glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. My brothers and sisters, you can sit down. My brothers and sisters, the title of my message is, my brothers and sisters, God has given us his very best. So, uh, let me put it to you this way, we have no excuse. Because he has given us his very best. Uh, so the choice is upon us to take the word of God and apply it in our lives, my brothers and sisters. We're going to uh, open to Romans chapter 8, verses 35 to 9. 35 to 39. Remember, my brothers and sisters, it is... It is for you and me that Christ came. Amen. We are the reason why he came and died this gruesome death so that we could uh, pick our heads and give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. We are looking at our brother Paul, my brothers and sisters. He, he, he had... Uh, had a situation, my brothers and sisters. Remember, he was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. Uh, when it came to the word of God, he knew it all, my brothers and sisters. But yet he was lacking. He was lacking the revelation of God. And he examined the scriptures. And uh, what he really majored on is the love of God, my brothers and sisters. And he knew that the Father was, was full of love. His heart, his heart was overflowing with love. Uh, he had a desire. He, had a, he needed a family. And my brothers and sisters, he gave. He gave his very best. Whether it was love, whether it was the spirit of God, whether it was the word of God. Apart from everything that he gave. My brothers and sisters, Paul majored on all these things. And he examined this great love of God, my brothers and sisters. And my brothers and sisters, look at how he puts it in the word of God. Let's read uh, from verse 34, my brothers and sisters. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yeah, rather, that he is risen again, who even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us, my brothers and sisters. So the, the point here is, my brothers and sisters, we, we, we are fallen creatures, my brothers and sisters. We are trying, my brothers and sisters, we are failing. Here is the question, my brothers and sisters, who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. It's not you, it's not me. It's Christ, my brothers and sisters. And he rose again 
even he is at the right hand of God who also makes intercession for us. Now, my brothers and sisters, this great love of God that the Father had, that he gave my brothers and sisters, was so important to Paul. And he asks another question, my brothers and sisters. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? That includes us also, my brothers and sisters, you and I. Because the love of God was, is, was so important in his life, he, he wanted to make it known to us the reason the Christ came, my brothers and sisters. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or repel or sword, my brothers and sisters? In verses 37, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us, my brothers and sisters. So you see, my brothers and sisters, we also, my brothers and sisters, as a child of God, we can go through a lot and lots of problems and situations. My brothers and sisters, if we have the love of God, my brothers and sisters, that can push us through, through the grace of God, my brothers and sisters. The Bible says, my brothers and sisters, it's all things work for good to them that love the Lord, my brothers and sisters. So whatever we are going through, I'm sure this year we are going through a lot of things, my brothers and sisters. But it was the grace of God that carried us across, my brothers and sisters. No matter what we went through, it was the grace of God that carried us through, my brothers and sisters. So my brothers and sisters, in that we overcame. And we became, my brothers and sisters, more than conquerors, my brothers and sisters. We're going to go to uh, 1 Corinthians to continue the thought, my brothers and sisters. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Still talking about the love of God, my brothers and sisters, because... Paul realized, my brothers and sisters, without the love of God, we are nothing. And anything that we do without the love of God, it will profit us nothing, my brothers and sisters. So we are looking here at chapter 13, 1 Corinthians, verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and if I don't have charity, that is love, my brothers and sisters, I am become like a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, though I have, though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and I have no charity or love, I am nothing, my brothers and sisters. That's why this great apostle measured on love, my brothers and sisters, because you can do a lot of things, but if you do it without love, it profits us nothing, my brothers and sisters. Verses 3. Though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, and have no charity with that is love, it profits me nothing. Look at it, my brothers and sisters. So this great God, my brothers and sisters, the Father, had this great love overflowing from his heart, my brothers and sisters. He needed a family, so he gave us his very own, his very best, my brothers and sisters. He has given us his beloved son, my brothers and sisters. And this day, we give him all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Uh, this year well, probably was not a good one for everyone. But we thank God that in his grace that we overcame, and um, we give him all the praise, the honor, and the glory. We're going to go to our favorite uh, 
chapter, my brothers, this is John 3.16. Right, 3.16. Look at this, my brothers and sisters, how this great God that has demonstrated his love in such a manner that he gave us his very own son, which was his best, my brothers and sisters. For God so loved the world, he is a respecter of no persons, my brothers and sisters. He loved the whole humanity. And you know the whole humanity will not receive the gospel. But nevertheless, he, he died for everyone, my brothers and sisters. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son, into the world to con condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. My brothers and sisters, God can give his very own best. He can do a lot of things for us. My brothers and sisters, if we do not receive what he has given for us, what is the purpose, my brothers and sisters? Uh, Today I may be preaching this gospel. But remember, the gospel that I am preaching does not save you. It only prepares you and points you to Christ. It, it is Christ that died for you. It is Christ that did everything possible to make you a bride of Christ. So... We, we have to recognize that, my brothers and sisters. We do realize in the beginning was a word. The word was with God. And the word was God, my brothers and sisters. So it's not only uh, we talk about the love of God that was God. We talk about the word of God that was established in our hearts. That God came to us by His Spirit, His word. And he, wa he, wa he was God, my brothers and sisters. Can we go to Titus, my brothers and sisters? Titus. Right, we're going to Titus uh, chapter 2, um, verses 11. For by the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly loss, that we should live soberly righteously, godly in this present world, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, my brothers and sisters. Remember, God gave. The Son also gave, my brothers and sisters, who gave himself for us that he may redeem us from all iniquity and purify himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works, my brothers and sisters. So my brothers and sisters, he was a reason, my brothers and sisters, for us, that he came to die for us, my brothers and sisters. We were uh, the reason, actually, 
that he came and died for us. And look at what he has done for us, my brothers and sisters. He gave himself that he may redeem us from all iniquity and purify himself a peculiar people zealous of good works, my brothers and sisters. I'm just going to get into Hebrews 5, my brothers and sisters. Five eight. Though he was a son, Hebrews five eight, yet learnt he obedience by the things he suffered. My, let's get into this whole thing, my brothers and sisters. Firstly, he was a righteous son of God. There, there was no sin in him. He became sin for us. That we could become the righteousness of God. So what is the purpose my brothers and sisters. Of him learning obedience. For who did he do it? He did it for us my brothers and sisters. Remember my brothers and sisters. When, when he died my brothers and sisters. We were in him. Remember we were chosen before the foundation of the world. Our, land, our names were written in the Lamb's book of life. Before the foundation of the world. So we were in him when he died, my brothers and sisters. When he rose, we rose with him. We died and we were actually buried with him and rose with him. And we are now seated at the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So my brothers and sisters, while we were in him, while he was on the cross, he learned obedience for us, my brothers and sisters. We, he knows that we are, we are fallen creatures. We falter, we fail. Uh, when it comes to obedience, it's a very hard thing, my brothers and sisters. It's a very hard thing. But yet, it, it, we, we have to obey, my brothers and sisters. Salvation came to us by obedience. The Holy Ghost was given to us by obedience. So, my brothers and sisters, obedience is a very, very important thing. And... Christ Jesus was on the cross and he learned obedience by the things he suffered. Not because uh, he was disobedient. No. Because he learned obedience for us, my brothers and sisters. And being made perfect. Remember, we're not perfect yet. He was perfect. He became perfect so that we could become perfect. And the only time that we're going to become mature, perfect, and he's appearing, my brothers and sisters. Who being made perfect, he became the author of the eternal salvation to them that believe him. My brothers and sisters, that's very, very important, my brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, the scripture says, my brothers and sisters, that, you know, uh, salvation comes to you by believing, my brothers and sisters. No matter what God has done for you, even if the Father has given the very best, but if we do not receive it and believe it, it serves no purpose, my brothers and sisters. So it's important, my brothers and sisters, that, uh, you know, we, uh, we get, we get, to know our God and uh, okay let's go to second Timothy my brothers and sisters Before we go to 2 Timothy, my brothers and sisters, as we are we're talking about the, the, the believing part of it, my brothers and sisters, it says here, my brothers and sisters, uh, if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus Christ 
and believe in our hearts that God raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, we shall be saved. So believing is a very, very important part of our, our structure, my brothers and sisters. And it says here, For with the heart a man believeth unto righteousness, and with the heart confession is made, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So my brothers and sisters, uh, as we're talking about, uh, you know, as the gospel has been preached, for us to receive and believe and receive is very important, my brothers and sisters. Second Timothy, my brothers and sisters. As we're talking about obedience, my brothers and sisters, the Holy Ghost is given to them that obey Him. So, or we'll, we'll start from verse 15, my brothers and sisters. That from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which is able to make you wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Verses 16. All scripture, not one or two, my brothers and sisters, not pet scriptures, my brothers and sisters, all scriptures. Remember, why all scriptures is necessary, my brothers and sisters. We are the word bride. And my brothers and sisters, being the word bride, um, we, everything has to be weaved in, my brothers and sisters. We don't have to know the finer points of this whole thing. But having the word of God in our hearts, my brothers and sisters, is important. See, look at it, my brothers and sisters. All scripture is also given. Is given. Like the sun is given, the scriptures is given. By the inspiration of God. My brothers and sisters, we can read, we can hear. But we have to have the inspiration of God to open up the scriptures to give us understanding. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof. It's a word of God that reproves us, my brothers and sisters, corrects us to be in the right direction. For the instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works, my brothers and sisters. So you see the importance of the love of God. Without the love of God, we are nothing. Anything that we do uh, without the love of God, it profits nothing. And my brothers and sisters, if we do not have the word of God, or the love of God, or the, or, or the spirit of God, there's no bride, my brothers and sisters. It is the love of God that connects the bride into the body of Christ, my brothers and sisters. We are all members connected by the love of God. That's why God so loved the world. But the world didn't receive him. But the bride received him, my brothers and sisters. And there are, and there are other categories. Let's go to Proverbs, my brothers and sisters. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 22. How long, you simple ones, will love simplicity? And the scorners, scorners uh, delight in your scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Turn, my brothers and sisters, this is what I want to get to you. We have a responsibility, and the scripture says, my brothers and sisters, because we want to be obedient, because we love the Lord, we want to obey His commandments, it says here, 
turn at my reproof. And behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, you have re refused. I s have set forth my hands, and no man regardeth. You have set at naught all my counsel, and would not, and would none of my reproof. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock at your fear when fear cometh. When the fear cometh like a dissolution and your destruction comes like a whirlwind, when your distress and anguish comes unto you, then they will call upon me, but I will not answer. Look at it, my brothers and sisters. Everything is given. It's for them to receive and believe. But they discarded it. Then they shall call upon me. But I will not answer. They will seek me early. But they will not find me. For they have hated knowledge. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. And they would none of my counsel, and despise at all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way, and shall be filled with their own devices, my brothers and sisters. Look at the condition of the world, my brothers and sisters. But we, the bride of Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters, are a very peculiar people, my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters, why? Why is the Spirit of God so important in our lives? Without the Spirit of God, we are nothing, my brothers and sisters. At the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost was also given, my brothers and sisters, free of charge, my brothers and sisters. But my brothers and sisters, without the Holy Ghost, you cannot be born again. But yet the scripture says, you must be born again. It's important. That you be born again, my brothers and sisters. And without the Spirit of God, we are nothing. Without the love of God, we are nothing. Without the Word of God, we are nothing, my brothers and sisters. Because the Word of God uh, is the one that provides us the garment. And the garment that qualifies us to get into the rapture, my brothers and sisters. And without the Word of God being our garment of righteousness, we will not make it there, my brothers and sisters. Well, let's go to Proverbs 6, my brothers and sisters. Chapter 6, verses 20, my brothers and sisters. The importance of having the word of God in our hearts, my brothers and sisters. My son... Keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of your mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart. Tie them around thy neck. When thou goest, it shall lead you. When thou sleepest, it shall keep you. When thou wakest, it shall talk to you. This is the commandment that is a lamb. The law is a light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Look at the importance, my brothers and sisters, of having all these things, my brothers and sisters. We are so thankful, my brothers and sisters, that, that this day that the Lord has given us the word of God this day, my brothers and sisters. That we as children of God, my brothers and sisters, it's important, my brothers and sisters. That's why our brother Paul also, he told his followers, give time, uh, attendance to reading. 
Let the word of God richly dwell in you. There's a purpose, my brothers and sisters, that he has emphasized to the believers that the word of God, uh, my brothers and sisters, is so important where you've got to tie them around your neck, my brothers and sisters. And it is so important that you have the word of God. But it is also important, my brothers and sisters, to have the revelated word of God. That's not the word of God, the letters of the word of God. Let the word of God talk to you, my brothers and sisters, and revelate you in the things that's needful, my brothers and sisters. Because, my brothers and sisters, God is coming for a bride, my brothers and sisters. It's the spirit of God, my brothers and sisters, that put us in the body of Christ, my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters, it's the love of God that connected us, knitted us together to become one, my brothers and sisters. And it's the word of God, my brothers and sisters, is, 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 the, is the waters of the word, my brothers and sisters. They're going to be a washing in the hand, my brothers and sisters, where Christ gave him, himself to the bride of Jesus Christ, and at the same time, my brothers and sisters, that he could keep her without spot and wrinkle, and at the same time, my brothers and sisters, that he could wash her and prepare her, that she could be clothed with the garment of Christ, seeing that the bride has made herself ready already. Let us take heed to the word of God, my brothers and sisters. As I said, my brothers and sisters, I cannot save you, my brothers and sisters. There is only one Savior. And my brothers and sisters, yes, as preachers, we preach the word of God. We point you to Christ, my brothers and sisters. In other words, we prepare you to receive what God has already given. So, my brothers and sisters, let us not uh, uh, sleep, my brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, uh, spiritually speaking, I'm saying, my brothers and sisters, let us wait to, to righteousness, my brothers and sisters, because God is looking for his kind of righteousness, uh, his kind of a love, his kind of a word, his kind of a spirit to take us home, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord bless you all, my brothers and sisters. I want to thank the Lord for those precious words. We're living at this hour of time, my brothers and sisters, where God is getting a bride ready. And we know that uh, he has many ways of washing us and grafting us into his word, uh, building us up at this late hour of time. We're going to stand to our feet this evening. We're going to sing a song to the Lord. If you have a need, you may come forward. Amen. Love never faileth. Love is pure gold. Love is what Jesus came to unfold. Make us more loving. Master,
Jesus came to Heavenly Father, yes, Lord. Lord, we are so grateful this evening, precious Lord, yes, that Lord. you've given us this wonderful opportunity, yes. Lord, that we can gather together as your family, yes, my Lord. God. We are thankful, Lord, that you sent your son 2,000 years ago, Lord, that fountain, Lord, of unconditional love, yes, my God, that we can be brought into your family, my yes, God. Lord. Bless every child that has come here today, Lord. Bless my brother that has ministered the word, my God. Lord, may it find a good bedding ground, my God. Yes, Lord, I pray for tomorrow's service, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless the speaker, my God. And bless every child that will come, my God. Yes. Lord, even as they go the different ways, my yes, God. Lord. May your presence go with them now, Father. You, In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. amen and amen. Amen. Let us sing a closing song tonight. Amen. Amen.